Yeah, well, the average American wedding costs over $30,000, and that's not including Whoa. the honeymoon. And joining us Whoa. now is author and finance expert, Morgana Ray. Did I say it right? Morgana? Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. yes, okay, you cool. Did. Thank you for joining Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Thank right. you for joining us today. Exactly. All right, so this, this is a little interesting to me, Morgana. You've been, a married, you've been married 11 times, but to the same man. 12. Oh, well, it's 12. Yes. Okay. It's <laughs> Last 12. month we were in Turkey getting married in an 800 year old house with a horse and a pony, and our honeymoon suite was a thousand year old cave hotel. I have to say, there's nothing hotter than a honeymoon in a cave. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, that is so cool. So, I mean, how does somebody accomplish something like this? Well, what, since we're getting married a hundred times in a hundred countries, uh -huh. and I pay attention to money, what we discovered is that destination weddings are actually less expensive than a wedding at home. Mm -hmm. Really? Why is that? Well, three ways immediately. First of all, if you're getting married in Azerbaijan or Croatia or Bali, you're not going to have as large a wedding party as if you have a wedding home and local. So right. that saves you a lot of money right away. Okay. The second way that you save money is hotel packages. Hotels around the world want us to come so much that they will create a package with the wedding and the photographer and the wedding planner mm -hmm. all bundled together. And we see offers coming in for $2,000. When my husband and I got married in San Marino, all day wedding and medieval dress and medieval Latin vulgare, and they knighted him at the end. Wow. Oh, that yes. is so cool. Yes, his name is Sir Devon now. Sir Devon, wow. That whole package? We can do that for only $2,000, especially no right kidding. now because the dollar is so strong. Uh -huh. And then the third way that you save money is you're having your wedding and your honeymoon together. Yeah. Right. I've had 12 weddings, and every single one of them is a honeymoon. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. That's so cool. Yeah, and I, I noticed that my, I got married here in Albuquerque. My sister got married in Mexico, and her wedding, everything came included, and it was beautiful, and it was perfect, and it was and I mean, mine was beautiful and perfect also, but hers was much less expensive right. than mine. You never think about that. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. a New York Times said that on average, a destination wedding is at least $2,000 less than having one at home. Yeah. And I think Americans are catching on. 24% yeah. of Americans are having destination weddings. And for those of you who are thinking about it, but a little scared and not knowing how it works, I just want to say that it is so much easier and more affordable than you yeah. think. Now, you've got some tips for us to make this easier, is that yes. right? Okay, yes. What are those tips? This is, these are my tips for having a fantastic wedding no matter what happens. Okay. First of all, when you have a destination wedding, the location, the location does the work for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So the castle or the bridge or whatever happens, that is going to make it memorable automatically. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on that. The location is doing that. By the way, if you had one here, have a wedding in a balloon. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, good uh -huh. point. Yeah. You can't fit 150 people into a balloon. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Um, the next piece is open-mindedness. You never know what's going to happen, and I promise you, unexpected things are going to happen. Sure. So, for instance, when my husband carried me up 99 steps in Slovenia and survived <laughs> so great. that we could bring what? the wishing bell, it's a Slovenian tradition. You have to do that if you go to Slovenia. Wow. Wow. Okay. Very romantic. Okay. He's such a man in my eyes. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask him <laughs> yeah. that question. Is it romantic? <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot harder for him than me. Uh, yeah. I bet. <laughs> the vows. I think the vows are everything. That it isn't the dress or the location or the guests. It's the vows. The vows are about the relationship. And and every time we exchange our vows, we know each other better and they're different and they're and I cry and I think that couples should say vows over and over and over again. And then finally, the E is experience. Experience, experience, and adventure bring you closer together. All right. That's great. Now these are great tips. So uh, people can get your book, right? You have a book. Yes. All yes. right. How can they get that? On Amazon, I have an international best-selling book called Financial Alchemy: Twelve Months of Magic and Manifestation, and it's really a a self-coaching workbook uh -huh. for creating a relationship with money so that you can afford the love, lifestyle, and legacy that you desire. That's great. So much good stuff, Morgana. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this yeah, with us. Thank you. And if you want to pick up her book, of course, we will have links to our Amazon site at casa.com. Uh, congratulations in advance on number 13. Yes. Is he going to go like 150 steps? 
or something? The Great well, Wall we, of China? We've been invited to have a Zulu wedding in South Africa. Wow. No kidding. Wow. I am really excited that about that. That is very exciting, <laughs> yes. Morgana. Thank you so much for your time.